Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Vesta here from chocolateandcurse.com. Um, I've got a haul today. There's some books and there's some makeup. And yeah, I just noticed that I left the makeup over here. Yeah. I've got some mini closet thing going on over there. So I've got some hair and I've got some makeup and I've got some books. Um, yeah, so um, I've got a haul, as I said, and I'm just going to show you now. I've been spending the entire day watching, I've got a few days off and I've been watching the um, Brass and Family Values and it's kind of interesting. So let's get to the haul. Um, I already have a few um, eyeshadow shades from Inglot um, in this palette. This is a self made palette. This case, this case I got, this is the first ever makeup palette case I got from my auntie. I think I was like 13 and I've kept it for all this while, which is quite weird because it's like over a, over a decade ago, like 12 years ago. I'm lying. So, um, I've been picking up some makeup from Inglot. I don't know, I like their freedom system and their eyeshadows are so cheap and highly pigmented. So, I've been trying to fill it up. Like, if I feel, oh my god, I need these shades, um, even though I don't wear them, um, I just go ahead and I go pick them up. So, in a previous haul, I had four, and in this, I've picked up five, and it's just left one more slot, and this will be full. So, I'm going to show you, like, so. Um, these are the shades I have before, and <laughs> these are the shades I just picked up. Um, there's a black here with shimmer. And there's this like gradient um, nude colours with shimmer and there's a gold and there's a blue if I'm not kidding and the, the, the blue with gradients and another blue and actually just like showing it to you like so I'm getting some on my fingers so maybe I'm gonna swatch on my fingertips uh, yeah there's a lot of shimmer in these guys so so these are like just a little bit of like sliding my fingers across and yeah highly pigmented shades this is a blue I don't know I'm really feeling blue eye for um, the spring and winter just for my lower lash line or just for like a smoky eye and the rest are just like normal what did I get you from and I'm really really into gold like I've been going on tumblr and I've been seeing all these gold like just like highlighters and stuff and they're really cool. I'll be doing swatches on the blog, so if you can't see them as I show them to you right now, um, you can have an. Oh, I love the black with the gold shimmer in it. It's so glamorous. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna be going to the Beyonce concert on Saturday, and I do not know how I'm gonna wear my makeup. But I think these guys are really gonna heavily feature. So that is for the makeup. Um, for the eyeshadow palettes and I got some deals on these the ones that are a, a trio um, are normally like six pounds but they had 20% off in Inglot so there's so many deals there and this makeup is so so good um, highly pigmented I, I swatched it on the back of my hand but I still have loads on my fingertips so that is it for the Inglot um, I've picked up a few other bits I picked up two other things from Inglot um, I wanted a really orangey red colour um, for all the spring and I picked up this one I'm wearing it on my lips right now but I had a base so it's not showing its true colour so I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand um, I don't know it's not that orangey but I kind of like it as well it's something is really glossy so you may not need to moisturise your lips first and yeah that's the colour on the back of my hand right here I hope it focuses so you can see so that is the lipstick, it's the shade 126. There was this other shade I really wanted to pick up but it was sold out. Um, I picked up a liquid eyeliner shape before, that's what I'm wearing on my eye, my, my, my eyelids right now. Um, yeah, it has a really, really, really fine tip. I'm going to see if I can make that, it's really, really fine, like super fine. And you can really have like a really, really tiny flick or you can build on that and that's something I was looking for um, it's not so bad I like it um, and the piece de resistance if I should say I know winter is practically over but I 
have always wanted to pick up Night Moth from MAC and I had like two pounds from last year on my gift card and I'm like you know what let's just go get this let's finish this let's clear let's clear the account so I went and picked up Night Moth from MAC it's really amazing I this is the start of a really bad addiction um, it's a really good plummy colour like you could wear it on your own and I was so into that you know with I can't believe I didn't pick it up earlier but um, I'd overspent so I'm like this is fine this is a fine time it's really really lovely plum color so those are all the things on the back of my hand and that's it for the makeup so now let's go to hair as I said in my previous videos I'll be protective styling for the second year of being natural and in that case I'm like black hair can get really boring you can do twists with them chunky twists braids but what if there were other hair colors you could rock you know i work in a sort of like corporate place but there's some hair colors that if you rock people would not notice it unless you point it out to them and that is the it's kind of subtle but it's really really cool so with this hair as i previously showed you i've got some blue at the back and there's black on top of it so that was kind of a way of ushering like making people know that i like color but you know it's not in your face but I've got some really really cool colours. I buy all this like coloured hair and things from diversityhair.co.uk. They are a UK supplier of coloured hair and I really really like them. I'm going to show you some colours that I picked up. I ordered it on Wednesday and they came on Saturday so they're really really good. Um, so let's start with the really really bright ones. These are the gold. I don't know. I didn't. I don't want such a gold gold. These are really, really bright. I'm still on the fence about it. I've already emailed them saying that I want to return them, and I have seven days, so I'm thinking about how to incorporate. I wanted to do something like all like super black, like color two, and then the tips will be a gradient gold, like from as it goes down, and really, really long. But these are a bit too bright for me. These are too Christmassy, and yeah if it was summer yes but currently it's like it has to be a bit subtle it has to be cool and elegant it does, this is a bit too bright for me this is a bit too shiny so these are the golds they're five pounds fifty each um and this color i might actually keep it's the copper and it's not so bad maybe i have to get some more but they're kind of expensive so i'm wondering if i should just put it as a streak in a particular side of the hair um but yeah we'll, we'll think about that the colors the next hair color i'm gonna wear i showed you this in the previous video is the orchid hopefully you can see it as i show it to you now i'm just gonna pop one open um i'm going to do this all the way down my back for maximum effect um this is the color so i'm gonna put it against the white so that is it right there I really really like it and I really think of really good nice with my skin tone and I'm not gonna cut it I'm literally gonna I'm literally gonna have her braid it straight up so it will be long enough hopefully to them like to my waistline so that is the uh, that is the another thing I picked up I picked up four more of these I already have one so I think it'll be enough for like some super big box braids for the spring and yeah for spring so i'll be taking out my hair after the beyonce concert let my hair rest condition and then i'll braid it for march and then take it off like somewhere mid april so look out for that so we're done with all the makeup and the hair and i have some really cool stuff some other cool stuff i want to show you these are books i've been reading a lot of inspirational motivational instructional books lately i used to be really into fiction and i really want to get back to, into that and uh, because it helps a lot with my writing and i really want to write so um if you know if you know about curlbox you know about my leak and she is like the ceo of my uh, of curlbox and she recommends a lot of books on her instagram feed and on her podcast and things so i've been picking up a few books from her recommendation and from me looking out for books online and things like that so this is the first i haven't read it yet this is you incorporated it is basically the art of selling yourself by harry beckwith and christine clifford beckwith um yeah it's 
kind of, I think it'll be really interesting, especially for entrepreneurs and people who want to branch out themselves and do their own thing. So this is the first book that was there. The second book, actually, I didn't buy it. My mate, my housemate who left, she bought it for me. And this is Parisian chic, you know, because she knows I'm into blogging and, you know, experimenting with my style and breaking out and stuff. Cause sometimes you get really conservative when you wear the same thing to work and you're at home and you're home buddy and things like that. And I'm really not, I wasn't, I used to be, but um, I'm not anymore, but I'm trying to break back into it. Like going out shopping for yourself, picking up pieces that you know suit you. And, you know just being a bit more girly a bit more fun sophisticated so she gave me this book and i'm really really grateful for her and um, for this so this is parisian chic by sophie gadget and a style guide by yeah a style by, guide by um, so this is a french french style book french fashion book this book is the bomb like it would totally, totally change how you think about working 9 to 5. It's the 4 hour work week. I recommend it to everyone. Like, if you haven't read it and you're like corporate or whatever, even if you're an entrepreneur and you're like all up, like doing your own thing and everything, go read it. I got it on Audible. I started listening to her like two chapters. I made my husband buy it and he like, he's an entrepreneur, he's an accountant and he really wants to start his own business. And... I bought the hard copy because I need to see it around. I need to be able to refer because sometimes on the on the audiobook you can't. I can't seem to find the chapters I'm looking for to refer for things quickly. So I decided to buy the hard copy and I got for less than like three pounds on Amazon because people are just, you know, giving books back. So I highly recommend this book. Like you have no idea. And you will thank me later. The last book I bought because the topic was, the, it's so fun, look at the colours and look at the title, it's called Dooku-ish, like, why would you want to get this book? It's by a girl who's an entrepreneur and she opened her own restaurant and she's doing other social entrepreneur stuff and she went through the normal route of mommy and daddy wants you to be an accountant or a doctor or a manager or something, like most minorities and she decided, you know what, there's some problems I see around in my life in my world and if I can find a solution to it for me I should be able to help people because a lot of people could be you know need the solution that I can provide and she has some really really good nuggets in here and she's really like this is her first book I think and she is doing some really big big things her name is Mickey Agrawal I follow her on Instagram and when I put this book up that oh my god I've got the book she literally like commented so I was Woohoo! I've got an author who likes a picture of my like on my Instagram feed. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Mrs. Fosu. I'll put name on the bottom bar. But this book is bomb and I also recommend that as well. So basically that's it people. Um I'm trying to this is the year I'm gonna go for it. Like I've had swimming lessons, I'm running now, and there's so much information going on, on the blog. Um, sometimes I can't, I'm not really used to talking to someone I can't see, so I'd rather type it out and I have so much work, like I'm working with some other guys on another website, we do movie reviews and things like that, we'll be going to premieres and things like that, so there's so many things for 2014 that I'm looking forward to, so basically yeah, that is it, um, this is my haul. A little update of what's going on with me and I'll catch you later. I don't know if I'm able to film me in the Beyonce concert, but yeah, I will let you guys know what happens next week. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great week. Catch you later. Bye.